Hey everyone, Jason here, Digital Marketing Consultant, and in this Google Tag Manager introduction video, we're gonna talk about what Google Tag Manager is and the top three reasons why you shouldn't use Google Tag Manager. So if you're looking for a click-by-click -click tutorial on how to use Google Tag Manager, you've already decided it's for you, go ahead and check out the link in the description to a full playlist and comprehensive tutorial on how to install Google Tag Manager. But first, let's talk about what it is and if you should even bother. So to kick things off, what the heck is Google Tag Manager? Google Tag Manager is a virtual file cabinet for all of your tracking codes. So typically what you'll have to do when you're doing Google Analytics, you're doing the Facebook Pixel, you're doing Google Ads, maybe you're doing Bing for some reason, you're going to have to take codes from those advertising platforms or Google Analytics, just tracking platform, and put it onto your site. And as you can imagine, as soon as you start to try and track your conversions and your sales and specific events, it can get really, really mucky. You have all of these different tracking codes from all of these different places and you're trying to figure out what's running where. Well, Google Tag Manager is like the one tag to rule them all, right? You put it on your site once and then you're done. You just put all your other tags inside there and through their interface, it's really easy to see all of your changes, what's been triggered, what's not being triggered, your events, all that fun stuff. Now, if that sounds super cool to you because you're a fellow marketing nerd, awesome, then Google Tag Manager might be for you. If you're like most people and you go, wow, that sounds really convoluted, then Google Tag Manager might not be a good solution for you, which leads me into reason number three, you might not want to use Google Tag Manager, and that is if you already have all of your tracking codes installed on your site. You're actually gonna be doing double work because what you'll have to do is take all those tags off your site, put Google Tag Manager on your site, and then take all the tags that you took off your site inside of Google Tag Manager and then set up all of those events and tracking again, which yes, will help you easily scale your tracking and analytics in the future when you become more complex and your business and marketing grows. However, right now, it might not be a good use of your time, especially if you have a bunch of other things to do like most marketers and entrepreneurs. It's just a matter of does it make sense to invest your time redoing something that's already working? In most cases, it won't. And speaking of time invested. Number two, if you're using a page builder, then Google Tag Manager might actually be overkill. Page builders like Builderall and ClickFunnels and Instapage and Lead Pages, you know, they have specific places for you to put all of your remarketing, your Google Analytics, and your conversion tracking. So if you're using a service like that, it might actually be easier to just copy and paste your conversion codes onto all your confirmation pages because those solutions make it so easy. Plus, when it comes to remarketing, if you're just doing remarketing, the Facebook Pixel and the Google Tag, they've come a really long way where you can actually create custom audiences inside of your ad platform without having to create conversion events. So there are a lot of options you already have available to you. And so if you're using a page builder, you can probably get away without using Google Tag Manager because of how easy those page builders make it to keep track of where your codes are. And then also the ability to create custom remarketing audiences based upon URL visits inside of Google Ads and Facebook ads. Of course, I will add the asterisk that it's always best to install your conversion tracking, but when you're just getting started, you're trying to run traffic, you're trying to figure all of this out, just don't bother. You'll be able to use URLs to create your remarketing. And speaking of remarketing, if you're not running any paid traffic, Reason number one, Google Tag Manager might not be for you, is it might just be overkill. Because if you're just relying on organic traffic, then most likely all you need is Search Console and Google Analytics, and you're good to go in terms of all the tracking that you need. And the base code of Google Analytics that just needs to go on your site once, with just about every page builder out there, all you have to do is drop in that code and it knows to put it across your site you don't need something like Google Tag Manager. So that does it for what Google Tag Manager is and the top three reasons why it might not be worth your time to set it up yourself. So go ahead and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about Google Tag Manager and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you got some value out of this video. Over on my channel, I'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to put together a successful sales funnel and digital business and of course figuring out which software to use and sometimes more importantly which software not to use is just one small piece of the bigger picture of being successful with your digital marketing. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions, and until the next video, keep building the business you love.